Jonathan, you famously say about psy, parapsychology, the paranormal, to entertain without endorse. That's a great phrase. I've quoted you on it several times. Uh, um, let's say you come to a conclusion that there is really something about psy that, that is, uh, is demonstrable, r r real. What would that imply about the fundamental nature of consciousness itself? Well, if genuine evidence for Psy was found to be made, I think it would be tremendously, tremendously important. And indeed, that's part of the reason I think it's important to continue to investigate for the possibility of it, even though as of yet we don't really have solid evidence. Mm -hmm. Consciousness is sort of like nothing else. We have this amazing experience of, of doing things, of understanding things, of, of having this sort of special place relative to all other aspects of uh, existence. And yet the, the evidence for it, the evidence for its specialness is, is really very little uh, other than our own subjective experience. What Psy could potentially indicate is that the experience of consciousness, the significance of consciousness that we intuit actually has real merit. That we are indeed able to grasp reality through consciousness in a way that otherwise wouldn't be possible. It would really turn conventional science on its head in major ways. And this is the very reasonable reason why people are very reluctant to consider mm -hmm. evidence that it exists. Yeah, it, it, so, so you have the paradox of the importance of doing the research and to see if it does. On the other hand, you have this very large resistance to it because it would, it would really undermine uh, completely physicalism as, as a, a fundamental theory of reality. Yeah, I, I think that if, if Psi exists, it would provide the best evidence uh, that could be uh, that uh, a pure material reductionist model, as it currently is articulated, at least, uh, just doesn't work. And consciousness would be the poster child for the, uh, for the implications of that. Yeah, and if it, that were found, it would really create greater impetus to build consciousness into our models of reality. So I think it's uh, maybe not a coincidence that people who have uh, considered the possibility of consciousness being sort of a fundamental aspect of uh, reality are also more sympathetic to the possibility of some type of psi effect. Yeah, because the psi effect, uh, at least traditionally, uh, don't obey the, the, the laws of physics with respect to space and time. And so if you have another reality that, that is a, an underlying consciousness or consciousness is part of it, it gives you a way to escape the, the constraints of time and space. Precisely so. Um, and so how confident do you feel that what you've seen so far gives you enough evidence? Uh, you, you, you're, not, you're not willing to jump over that hurdle yet. Well, I uh, have not been persuaded by any of the evidence so far that I should necessarily believe in psi effects. I think uh, there's suggestive evidence, but it's really important when you do, especially when you do psi research, to pre-register exactly how you're going to do your study and then exactly follow that pre-registration when you end up analyzing the data, because it's too easy to run it one way and then analyze it <laughs> yeah. another. Right. And that kind of very rigorous pre-registration and then following the rules has not been done. So I'm not persuaded by the effect so yeah, far. Because you can have an experiment that says, I'll have an association, and then when you look at the data, the association is a negative. That it, but it, it's highly significant. Right. And so, you know, you just reverse your, your theory and it, and it works. Uh, what about the danger of uh, not reporting null results? Well, sure. I mean, one of the things that Psi researchers have done is to publish null res results and really sort of led the, the call to, to do that. So there have been a lot of null results that have been published, but certainly the possibility that lots of uh, file drawer findings are out there is, is a real con concern. So when you do meta studies, you can't, you can't get them because you don't know that those exist. Exactly, so yeah. That, that, that's a problem. But I will say that um, the aspect of my evidence that I find the most suggestive yeah. for something that you might call psi 
is staring us right in the face, <laughs> and that is the existence of conscious experience. Conscious experience itself doesn't seem to clearly reduce to material explanations. Sure, sure. And for me, that is the most compelling sort of sigh that there is. Yeah, I, I totally agree with that, but, but that leads us into a cul-de-sac because then you have circular reasoning. Uh, I believe in Psy because I have consciousness, and now Psy is going to help me understand the foundation of consciousness. Y well, yeah. I don't think it's necessarily circular. The existence of consciousness, the existence of this quality that just yes, does yes, not yes, reduce yes. itself to material right. things encourages me to consider the possibility of Psy even in the absence of empirical evidence. Uh, but you really need to have empirical evidence independent of consciousness for okay. that kind of Psy But if you would do that and you get Psy from the, the, the uh, inducing Psy or uh, the inducing belief in Psy because of the nature of consciousness, which I agree is a significant data point, I totally agree with that, but then to use Psy to explain the nature of consciousness, that becomes circular. Well, so if it turns out that we find evidence for Psy, then that could help us to inform yes. our understanding yes. of consciousness. We could begin to think about consciousness as perhaps, as I've speculated, an additional dimension of physical reality. And so we can, we can take sort of shortcuts in ways that uh, wouldn't be possible with the standard, way, standard dimensions that we have. So I think there is a possibility of bootstrapping between psi and subjective experience if we could just get the data on psi. My problem that I have had with Psy for my whole intellectual life, because in my early years as a teenager and where I was going to do my PA, I was really thinking about focusing on Psy instead of neuro neuroscience, as I turned out. Um, but I, I had this fundamental problem that Psy, absolutely what you say, would overturn our total way of thinking about what's reality. But if it's that powerful, if it is that powerful to make that change, why is the effect so small that you have to go through statistics and barely find this very small statistical difference? Well, a good metaphor is, again, subjective experience. Right? There's no way to measure subjective experience. There's no way for you to know that I have subjective experience. Okay. As, as powerful as it is, we can't really know okay. whether or not a fish I, I that has it. So, so the, the fact that something is uh, very hard to measure doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. No, but it's not hard to measure. It's, it's hard to get a statistically valid result. It's easy to measure. Well, that is the... The, the impact of, of Psy is um, clearly, if it exists, it's, it's very small. Uh, and so I, I totally grant you that. But that, do not, that doesn't mean that it isn't necessarily still uh, very significant. And you can also take you know, examples in, in phys physics, the Higgs boson, all sorts of things of great profound nature, very difficult to uh, nail down.